Hello there, and welcome to Not Ready for Primetime Crafting with Tanya Gale. Today's video is going to look a little bit different. Uh, I'm not just doing crafts with my hands. I'm actually behind the scenes controlling two different cutting machines. Today I have the Cricut Maker 3 and the Silhouette Cameo 4. Um, this arrived on my doorstep this weekend and I'm so happy to try it out. And I really want to compare it to my uh, current cutting machine, which is a Silhouette Cameo 4. I'm looking for uh, speed of cutting versus uh, accuracy of cutting. We're going to be looking at those two things and I picked four projects to kind of demonstrate the strengths and weaknesses if there are any for both of these machines. The first project we're going to do is I took some Oracal vinyl. Uh, this is Oracal 651, just a black glossy vinyl. And I applied it to standard grip mats for both machines. So we're going to cut out a simple vinyl image. To keep everything equal, I have the same size image and um, the same type of material. So both machines are going to be cutting the Oracal on the same type of mats. To keep it even more equal, this machine came with a fine point blade, which is technically new. Um, and that's kind of comparable to the Silhouette Auto Blade. So I had an extra auto blade that I'm going to install and use on this Cameo, trying to keep this as equal as possible. So it will be new blade versus new blade as well. The uh, second project I'm going to do is going to be matless. Uh, the Silhouette has always been able to uh, run material matless through this machine. So I'm going to take uh, the scrap vinyl that you get with your welcome kit and the scrap and a piece of the, um, I'm sorry, the smart vinyl. I'm going to use two pieces of the smart vinyl, run it through using the same image that I am going to use for the vinyl. It's the exact same image, the exact same size and proportion for each, each machine. So then I'm going to do matless with the smart vinyl. Then I'm going to do print and cut. I'm using the same online material, online sticker paper that I printed out with the registration marks for each machine. The only slight difference here is I will be using the standard mat for the Cricut and I will be using the light tack mat for the silhouette. I think that will give me the best chance to run a print and cut through the silhouette. So there's a slight variance there. And then finally, I'm going to um, use the standard grip mats using the same design. I'm actually going to foil it and on some cardstock. And I'm using the Cricut branded, uh, what is this, a foil transfer kit for the maker. And I will be using the foil quill for the silhouette. And I will be using the same uh, fine, I, I think I'll probably just use fine point just for simplicity, fine point um, blade, not blade, but uh, foil transfer pen for each one to keep it as equal as possible. So there are the four projects I'm going to do. And I think it's about time that we get started on them and see what happens with this result. Oh, one thing before we do that, I want you to know I have no affiliation with either Silhouette or Cricut. Both machines were purchased with my own money, uh, and so are all the supplies you see here. Okay, we are ready for our first cut. So all I have to do is press this button here, and on here I have the Silhouette Go app, where all I have to do is press send, and this all should work. So let me get set, and hold on. Oh, whew, machine disconnected. Return to action preview. Continue. Whew, did that. Load tools. Okay, okay. Let me do this. Okay, hit send for both of them. Sorry, I had a little. Okay. 
And that was the first cut. Now we're going matless. And I'm using the same type of smart material. This is the smart vinyl. This was the sample piece that you got in your welcome kit. And this is a larger piece that came with the Cricut uh, Maker 3. So I'm gonna use the larger piece in the Maker 3 and the smaller piece in the uh, Silhouette Cameo 4. I've loaded both the same type of smart material onto the, the respective machines. I had to do a little tweaking with the Cricut to get this to work. It kept telling me it didn't have enough smart material, though it was, I didn't change the size of the uh, design. It's the same design that I used to cut out on the smart vinyl or, or the regular vinyl. So I'm not quite sure what was going on in there. I tweaked the size a little bit and now all of a sudden it's working. The sizes should be comparable. So let's get to cutting. So all I need to do is press that. And I'm using the Silhouette Go app to control the silhouette. All right, I've loaded media. I've loaded tools. Okay, so from here I can hit send uh, and then press this. Okay. get stressed when these are cooking. Ooh, ooh. Okay, you all saw that slightly faster. And I'm gonna unload here. Okay, so that was the smart material, matless. Oh my gosh, here we are. Now we are set for the print and cuts to run through each machine to see if they'll register and cut appropriately and see who will do it faster or slower or more importantly, accurately. Uh, for purposes of transparency, this is actually the second run I've done with the print and cut. The first run that I went through, I messed up on both instruments. So it really wasn't a fair uh, comparison. So I just stepped back, retooled, redesigned a few things, and we are ready to run again. Again, I'm using the same type of sticker paper. I am using a different mat simply because of the issues that are known with silhouette and uh, print and cuts. I'm using the standard mat here because it's the only mat I have for Cricut, so it must be used. And now I've loaded both the print and cuts and we are ready to cut. Oh, I also use the same image, the same size. So I'm trying to keep everything equal. Okay, so now for this one, I'm going to uh, send the job to the silhouette through my laptop and the other one will be uh, wirelessly and it's all ready to go. So you're gonna see me stretching again. Uh, so, ooh, let's get this ready. Okay, so this is ready to send. And I'm gonna try and push these all at the same time. There we go. Okay. All right. Yes. yes. Woo. Wow. 
Okay, things are both finished, so let me unload and see. Oh, wow. Okay, we are down to the fourth and final test for both the Cricut and the Silhouette. Um, so this is the foil, and I'm using Cricut's own foiling system, their own proprietary foiling system, and on Silhouette, I am using a third party because Silhouette allows a third party foil system and this is the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill. The foil quill has been heating up, everything is loaded on. I use the same cardstock, the same uh, strength of mat, the standard mat, uh, even the same color of foil for comparison. So let's get this started and see how how well, how well and how fast these will foil. All right, all I need to do is press play. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me here. And I'm actually hooked into my laptop to control the uh, silhouette. Okay, let me, ready, ready, okay, go. I think it's end. <sighs> okay. That was scary. I used actually the same type of tip, which is a heavy tip for both of them. Wow. Okay, and that's the last test um, for speed, and we're gonna check to see how they foiled. And uh, they're not, it's, I got on a little bit of the tape over here, but that's okay. It's really just demonstration purposes only. And then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna weed all the stuff, and we'll do a little recap of where I think one shined and where I think the other shined, or both. Okay. Here are our results. After four different types of cuts, these are the results from the Silhouette Cameo 4. And um, I've had some interesting results. This is the Oracle. When I went to weed it, it didn't weed very well with the Silhouette Cameo 4. Um, I'm not quite sure why, but uh, I would call this a fail at weeding. And in comparison to, this is the Cricut Smart material. This weeded like a dream on the Silhouette Cameo 4. Our next cut was actually a sticker. And this is the successful outcome of a sticker print and cut. And it definitely did a wonderful kiss cut after my first failure working on this but the second time around you can see this really this cut perfectly using the silhouette 
our next project was the foiling. And using a third-party foil system really works well with the silhouette. All I have to say about this is that it is a little bit time consuming to set up. You have to let the foil quill pen heat up before you can use it. And you also have to have a separate power source for it in order to heat up. Other than that, this came out really good. So this is the results of the four different types of cuts with the Silhouette Cameo. Okay, here we are in front of the Cricut Maker 3. And these are the results of our four test cuts with the Cricut Maker 3. Let's take a look at the first. Again, this was uh, on a mat with the Oracle vinyl. It actually weeded far better than the Silhouette version of this, even though it still didn't quite weed appropriately. It's a definite improvement with the cut over uh, the Silhouette. And here is the matless cut with the Smart Vinyl. And again, it weeded like a dream. This looks phenomenal. Following on our third cut, which was our sticker cut, this is the second go around. Um, and I figured a few things out with running a print and cut on a Cricut. But unfortunately, it uh, cut the heart out in the wrong spot. It sort of missed the goal here, even with the registration marks. So kind of disappointed in that. Um, I was looking for better, actually better results than the silhouette, but on this instance with this cut, this is what happened. And then the final test was the foil. And again, this worked really well. Uh, so these are my results of the four different cuts of what worked, what didn't, and this is my gift to you. You can take a look at this and see what machine really works better for you. Wow. So what do you think? about the Maker 3 or the Silhouette Cameo 4. Uh, all these uh, images, this love image, and this lovely heart that you see here were purchased through uh, Silhouette's design store. I then downloaded them and uploaded them onto Cricut Space so I could use them concurrently with both instruments. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and the comparison cuts I've been able to do. And I hope you do get some value out of it. If you're on the cusp and wanting to make a decision on the machines, I really hope the information that I shared here is helpful to you. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next install installment of not ready for prime time crafting. Um, and I have to leave because I now have to find a place to store this uh, machine somewhere in my little crafty area. So talk to you later and happy crafting.